Hello guys, welcome to another video of my channel, Esoteric Cloud Surfer, with the weird hair hanging out, you know, for sure. In this channel we create esoteric clouds, which are lighter vehicles that our spirit can go in to float to higher realms of existence or more expanded realms of ex existence, realms with more possibilities, with less limitations, right? So today, uh, what is the third eye? If you are already part of a soul group, if you are already into, a spirit, into a, your spiritual journey for a longer time, I'm sure you know what is the third eye, but in case you don't know, in case you have forgotten, in case you just want to know my personal interpretation of what it is, here it goes. very good so first your third eye is the first eye it's the the real name that you should be calling it it's the first eye why because it's the eye that is inside right those eyes are outside and people generally call it the third eye because it's one, two and three but it's the other way around because you are like in scientific terms you are just one cell when the spermatozoid and egg cell when the sperm cell and egg cell meet you become one and then you construct construct from the inside to the outside and that is also true in a spiritual nature, right? But that goes way deeper, right? But we are always creating from the inside to the outside, always. So, if this eye is inside, it means it was created first, because we create from the inside to the outside, and that's why it's the first eye, as I as in C, because you can also call it the first eye as high being on a high position or you smoke or you drink and you get spiritually high because it was our first high in this realm right it was our first high in this realm it was the first eye that allowed us to see but before we created that eye we as spirits must have created a vision then then that vision became physically or more physically the first eye and then even more physically these two eyes so the first eye as terms of getting high getting excited it was when our spirit was in this realm and it got excited it got high it got happy because he saw he felt your spirit because spirits don't think, spirits don't see, they just have their spidey senses, right? But the spirits create visions, spirits create thoughts, spirits create feelings as well. But your spirit was enticed, it was happy, it was excited because of the lights of this realm. So your spirit first high, first high image of itself in order to create a physical vessel that can live in this realm. So, that also tells us that if you are in this realm, is because your spirit, once upon a time, was very excited about the lights and things in this realm. So, it, it was your first high, as in high, as in I, right? And that's the, the um, addressing the issue of the name, right? Because knowing the name, not the right name, but like a more suitable name for it helps us understand what the third eye, the first eye, really is. Because if you know about the chakras, right, you know it is a chakra. So, what is a chakra? Or, no, what is this chakra, the first eye? It's a chakra. A body of light right that 
allows your spirit to go, when your spirit goes into that chakra, your spirit can see your spirit, not you. Because what your spirit see is not what you see. What we see here is way denser, way slower, way heavier than what our spirit see. That's wait. So when our spirit goes into that chakra, your spirit can see, can create images of itself, of others, aka your spirit can imagine. This is the first chakra that our spirit uses to imagine something. Also, this is the chakra that our spirit uses to create lights before it uses the other chakras to, to densify and make those lights more heavier, aka our spirit goes into the first eye, it imagines something, it creates a light and then with the other chakras we make it denser and we attract those lights to the physical realm. But if you don't imagine it first, if you, not, if you don't believe it first, you'll never experience that by your own. You'll need a form of external bringer, external transportation device to, all, to deliver you that experience or thing. While if you use your first eye in alignment with your other chakras, you can imagine something and then manifest that thing through your other eyes, right? Because this is the first eye, because all of our chakras are eyes. All of our chakras are spaceships that our spirit can go into and see, act and experience through that perspective in general. Only through that, right? So this was the first eye, the first chakra that we have created. No, that was the heart chakra. But this, this was the first eye in these terms that allows us to see. The heart, the, uh, the heart chakra is another thing. The heart chakra represents more our spirit, where it came from, what our spirit already was doing before it created all of these. So in comparison to the heart chakra, this chakra is like heightening or improving or seeing more than the heart chakra. But if you don't have a heart chakra, you can see shit over here because you, do, you don't have your basis, you don't have your foundation, you don't have your experience as a spirit. Because the, the, the first high is like a bridge between the spiritual world and the real world, world because your spirit is like creating images of itself in the real world, while the other chakras, especially the lowers, the root, the sacral and the solar plexus, they are more connected to the physical realm. So it's your spirit, when your spirit goes into the, one of those lower chakras, your spirit is limiting its experience through the physical rules. Okay, that's not the word I want to use, but it's the best word I've come up to use right now. So, <clears throat> your first eye chakra allows your spirit to still be spiritual and physical at the same time. Because the images that your spirit creates about itself in this space are not limited by the reality around you. It's limited by the reality in the esoteric realm, aka the seventh chakra, right? The, the crown chakra. Because all of the chakras are inside here, inside Saturn, inside the seventh chakra, because then they move and things like that. So that was a quick video about what is. Mm, so, any, very good. What is your third eye, your first eye? Okay. Like in more technical terms, then. I'm going to do a video today about like what it does or how you can use it but now it's like just technical it's a chakra that allows your spirit to create images about himself itself and other things without being 
restricted by perspectives and feelings and laws and rules and other things in this reality in specific. So it's a bridge between your spirit, the spirit world, the other spirits, your spirit and the other spirits here on earth in the real world. So let's see if I have any more to say. Let me think a little bit. Because it's surely about imagination, creativity, sensibility, but then it's like the sensibility, it's more how it works, right? Because it's your first eye to see. So you see things with this eye that you cannot see in the physical reality because physical reality is way more dense than this chakra. The physical reality is more corresponded to the root, sacral and solar plexus chakras. All right. And then the heart chakra, it's the bridge between them all. Them all. The heart chakra balances them all. But if you don't have this one, you cannot imagine anything, you cannot create anything new, so you are balancing some old and outdated things for yourself. So it's very important to keep this healthy, to keep this going, to keep this creating new images, not letting your third eye, first eye being limited by anything except you, yourself. Because you can be imaginating about La La Land, about something that is impossible here, now, and you have to create it to be possible here, later. But if you don't focus on right now, aka okay, root chakra, aka okay, sacral chakra, you destroy those or you sacrifice those in order to put this chakra on a higher status inside of your whole system. Because that's how you have to look at yourself, a whole system with or without, it depends how you look at yourself, with with hierarchies, higher hierarchies, higher arches, you put some arches above each other and you say this is the higher because there is no high and low chakras, right? It's just chakras because they all move. So um, I'm going away <coughs> from the point. I'm sorry. I I'm not sorry. I'm sorry to myself, not to you. So for side chakra, <clears throat> it's connected to the moon, Neptune, Jupiter, and a bit of Saturn. It's like when Saturn gets sensitive, it's like more the, the first time, the sixth chakra. It's when Saturn gets sensitive, it, it's like it descends a little bit and it starts to imagine more fluid realities because this chakra is very much about water because it can create images, but the images are not stuck and limited, right? Those images can gain different shapes and forms, so it's more mutable, it's more water, it's Pisces, it's Sedge, it's Aquarius, it's Aries, it's Scorpio for real, it's... Cancer, it's all the water signs, yes. It's Leo's as well, but Leo's sometimes get too fixed on this one. And then, yeah, because I'm, I'll do that on another video, talk more in depth about the third eye chakra, the first eye chakra here is just like more a technical analysis, right? Just think, seeing if I'm not missing any point. No, that was it. So keep your, yourself being lit, keep being motivated, keep believing in your dreams. First eye chakra, very important. So you create new dreams, you create new imaginations. So if you don't enjoy how you're living right now, you use this, you create a new one and use the others to get that one. All right, that new reality, that new event, that new status, that new life condition, that new spiritual wisdom, whatever you want. So, <laughs> until the next Esoteric Cloud Surfing, 
as a Terry Cloud Surfer surfing out. I hope you have a very good Venus day. And remember that Venus is conjuncting Pluto, so expect some transformation in any way, shape, and form. Alright? See you the next time.